Mulberry trees are very well known for their sweet berries. Leaves of mulberry trees are edible too. I want to check if my guppies would like mulberry leaves. Cut mulberry leaves without stems. Choose healthy fresh green leaves. We can use fresh mulberry leaves for making fish food flakes. Check my videos about it. In this example I spread leaves on the surface and let them dry in open air. Or put leaves between the pages of a book. It takes longer to dry leaves in a book. The book will be damaged by the moisture, but the dry leaves come out looking nicely. Well, dry leaves break apart effortlessly at touch of your fingers. Leaves dried in open air curl into weird shapes. It takes much longer to dry leaves in a book at room temperature. Months. Dry leaves can be stored in the same book all year round until the next year's harvest. Now let's crumble a small part of a dry leaf for fish to try. Make a pinch of small flakes. I give a sample of any new food at the regular feeding time. Never give samples to pregnant females or your prize fish. You don't want to lose them in experiments. I have cherry shrimp in this nursery. And here are my dwarf guppies. Let's see if they like to eat mulberry leaves. Drop a small pinch of a sample food. It should take no more than 2-3 minutes to eat one serving of food. It seems that my guppies are looking for more. Great. Any leftovers would be a waste spoiling water. There are some large pieces left. Shrimp and snails would feed on those. I mix crumbs of dry mulberry leaves uh, with homemade fish food flakes for regular feeding. Dry mulberry leaves can be stored uh, like any dry food in a dry cool dark place all year round. My dwarf guppies of all ages eat small flakes of mulberry leaves. Mulberry leaves make a nice addition to fish food. My guppies eat it clean. Also, I feed small aquatic creatures with whole dry mulberry leaves. Hyalella azteca, species of amphipod crustaceans known as scuds, devour mulberry leaves. More about scuds in future videos. Have fun and happy aquariums!